Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh oh, nice. Oh, oh! I mean, did you try to, <laughs> did she go like this? <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Yeah, once again, are we seeing that today? They're like, mm. once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact the first couple minutes of this episode um, literally gave room camp vibes? Because anytime now when I see these three together, I instantly do think of that show. And such, and I still kind of wish that they secretly gave the show like a little greenlit of a second season to just do like a 15 minute short because I think that would be a good idea. I'm just saying. Like, so, what should we do? <laughs> Not the onesies again. <laughs> Girl, what the hell happened? <laughs> no. Cody, go lay down. Ha <laughs> 
I, I don't know if that'll... Not the cat! This <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Two freaking idiots, I can't. In your mind. Yeah, who is this dog? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> the dream time continuum is like literally epic up. It's breaking apart. <laughs> oh my god. In the middle of nowhere? Well, but it will blame Kirby. You got this. You can get out. I'm a poor dog. Text mom. What would you like to say? Open the door for Cody. <laughs> Done. Ooh, look at the tomato. Oh, sweet potatoes, damn. Look at the shovel spoon. Now she just looks like a different character. <laughs> The heck is that sound? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that is this week now. It's different. <laughs> Not the food porn. Oh my god, Kirby!
Didn't y'all just eat? That's okay. I, I do the same. Oh, it's small though. <laughs> so I would just like, you know, bask in its scenery, you know. <laughs> Good. Oh. How the heck y'all get there? Okay. Here. <laughs> Why did? <laughs> Why didn't anybody use their phones? Like, to literally find out where it was. Oh, damn. Next time. Not only that, but we need to continue the story. She bought food this time! I'm not mad at her. I do the same. <laughs> like, y'all two bitches made me hungry the previous day. I need food. I need substance. So, yes, what else happened? Plus two dogs. <laughs> That looks so good, though. I would have just said 20. What is it? Okay. When's the next bus? Are you even gonna make it in time?
I mean, but can't you do the hot spring on the way back? <sighs> yeah, what happened? What happened? Yes. Can all of you even fit in that thing? <laughs> Do y'all even have enough 10 minutes? All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, go, go. <laughs> trip ever. I feel so bad for them. It's the second time for them. Okay, thank God. That's the cutest little bust ever. Oh my God. It's so cute. <laughs> Ooh, pizza. I have pizza. Maybe I'll eat that tomorrow. Because I still want nachos again. That's not bad. Well, let's hope not, because Jesus. <laughs> I just also so love that Nadeshko got featured in this. It's just like, yes. You know, this is a good imagination. <laughs> Reimagination for the telling. You're like, yes, I am the commentary of this episode. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I was about to say that. Because, uh, yeah, garlic preferred in soy sauce. Man. What is it exactly? Of course, they would end it at the, like, the good part. Okay, let's just talk about this first half. The fact that everything was going so bad for these three, like, hit after hit after hit after hit, you felt bad for these girls. Like, you know, <laughs> Randy Kirby having the good time of their lives with Ayaka and then these three. You were like, oh, my God, we've entered hell. We have entered the point of no return. Like, when we come back to school and we see Nadeshko, like, what the hell we tell her? We'd be like, we're we going to make up some ish, right? Right? Yeah, we're not going to tell her every little thing, every little detail about this. Girl, because I, <laughs> I could not. It, I swear to God, because see, that reminds me of the girl's trip from hell that I had um, a few years back and how that was a trip. Because uh, see, now I look back at it as a learning lesson for future environments when I go on girlfriends with my, uh, well, I go on girl trip with my other girlfriends and I treat them with respect at the end of the day. But I don't think I would ever want to be in that situation ever again because that was a very, I wouldn't say traumatizing experience. There was some good moments, more bad moments, and moments where I was on the way home in the car being like, what the absolute fuck or why the absolute fuck was I? Like, I literally came. That's true. <laughs> Great minds think alike. The food porn. <laughs> I just, I can't. <laughs> Bruh, like seriously. But no, this was such a cute little episode because it's always like every single time when these three are together, we know that their adventure, one, it's always going to be a two-parter episode. Two, we already know that, like, it's not going to be, like, the greatest as the other three. Or even when, like, Ren and Kirby were just doing their together camping and such. But, once again, I definitely feel bad for these girls because they always get the short end of the stick. But by the time we get into the second half, like, it, it is a lot better for them. So, here's, ooh, excuse me, um, here's hoping next week. It's not as bad when we get into episode eight, but the journey getting to the campsite, that was a hell on in itself. I'll just say that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven of season three of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day with Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode eight. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.